Hey folks, it's Marvin Cash, the host of the Articulate Fly, and we're back for another Western North Carolina fishing report with the Nanahala Sasquatch himself, Gordon Vanderpool. How's it going, Gordon? Oh, great, man. How you doing, brother? Uh, just trying to stay dry and out of trouble. That's been tough lately. Absolutely. Well, we're recording this on June 10th, and it looks like all the rains kind of moved through. How are things in your neck of the woods? Um, actually, surprisingly good. Um, it's really everywhere has got rain, but not everywhere has got like six inches of rain or seven inches of rain like we got. But uh, the stuff that I fish is in remarkably great shape. So uh, the only trip I missed during this whole mess was today. And that was because they had a long drive to get here and I didn't want them to drive three and a half hours for the chance they may be in trouble. So I told them no. Uh, but uh, yeah, things are in good shape, man. Well, that's cool. Dry weather's coming. Yeah, nice and sunny and it's not super hot yet. So I guess uh, how much water do you have on kind of the places you normally fish? The Nanahala surprisingly was almost, I mean, unchanged. It went up a little bit. Cherokee was getting kind of low. It was in like the 330, 350 range when I was there last week. And it only brought it up to last time I looked. It was like four something. It may have changed since then. But uh, surprisingly, it didn't bring those two places up. But like some of the other drainages, a little bit further east, got a pile of water. Uh, We just got kind of enough rain to just keep, you know, soaking in, soaking in, soaking in, and just not as much runoff around here. You know, so it's if anything, just adding to the aquifer, if anything. Very you cool. Know, so it's a good thing. Yeah. We so yeah. So heading into the weekend, it'll be a little bit higher than normal, but it'll be pretty clear. Uh, what do you su- yeah. What do you suggest from a tactics perspective for folks? Yeah, um, the water's not going to be bad depending on where you are. But if you're on the Nantahala, Cherokee flows are going to be in great shape. It's going to be normal, clear for this time of year. Um, on the terrestrial side of things, you got black ants. So tungsten sunken black ants are working good. You can do black ant dry flies working good, small inchworms, about an inch long, those little green inchworms. This is the time of year to spin them, top and bottom, meaning surface and subsurface. Um, there's still some sulfurs around. Believe it or not, seen a couple hex mayflies this week. I've had some friends send me pictures and my wife also, um, which is so random. Uh, like I said, there's still some sulfurs around. You got yellow sallies around, yellow stone still around. Um, midges are always prevalent. Blue wings are always around depending on watershed. So still a lot going on, starting to transfer into that summer, more technical type pattern. So as the summer goes on, you're going to start scaling down your bug bug size and just trying to get those better drifts, you know, and fish the water where they're at, which is going to be pocket and riffly water because the water's warming up. Gotcha. So we're really kind of what starting out in the morning nymphing and then switching to dry flies as it warms up a little bit later in the day. If they look up, they're not always looking up. It just kind of depends. Um, but yeah, just kind of keep an eye on them, see what you're seeing. Most days, you know, if you're paying attention, there will be some room for some dry fly action for sure. Um, just kind of get up under those, you know, places like where you think they may eat an ant, like under a bush, under trees, you know what I mean? You may not see them rising, but they will be opportunistic with patterns like that. So don't be afraid to throw them. Gotcha. So in addition to the ants, uh, any other patterns you like this time of year? Um, small beetles, like little Japanese beetles. I haven't really seen any yet, but they're going to be coming. Um, and those things always tend to work, whether there's big numbers of those or not. The ants, um, little inchworms. That's really about all I mess with. But I mean, there's obviously so much you can do in the terrestrial world, you know, for people that know bugs far more than I do, but that works for me. And I catch plenty of fish doing that. Um, but you know, blue wings, sulfur's still around. Uh, it's kind of a mixed bag. Awesome. Well, folks, if you have a question for Gordon, if you'll send it to us uh, on the Articulate Fly Facebook page uh, and we read it, uh, you'll get some Articulate Fly swag. And at the end of the season, Gordon is going to, we're going to have a drawing and Gordon's going to hook the lucky winner up with some uh, Nanahala Sasquatch original flies. Um, Before we leave, it wouldn't be a fishing report uh, with Gordon if we didn't have the most valuable metal. What have you got for us this, this time around? Uh, this is called uh are you ready from disturbed the band is disturbed and the song is called are you ready it's a good one been a band i've liked for a long time over 10 years and they just keep on putting out some good stuff this is a newer one it's good stuff awesome well i'll drop it in the show notes folks like i always do well uh yeah boy yeah before we uh before we hop gordon why don't you tell folks where to find you so they can book you this summer yeah, flyfishingwnc.com, and phone number's on there. Shoot me an email or a phone call, and I will get back to you right away. 
Awesome. Well, I appreciate it, Gordon. And folks, you owe it to yourself to fish with Gordon. He's a good dude and he's very, very fishy. Uh, tight lines, everybody. Get out there and enjoy this uh, early summer weather. Take care, Gordon. All right, Marvin. See you, bud.